Hi, this is Brandon Sloy from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the Power Shrug. This is a great trap exercise. It's also got some explosiveness and power behind it, so you could definitely use it with weight lifters, power lifters, uh, shot putters, things of that nature. What you're gonna need, you're gonna need a barbell, and hopefully you've done a shrug before, and if not, I would just do a regular shrug to kind of get similar benefits to start. So I've got my bar here, and the main thing we're talking about the Power Shrug is, we're gonna talk about the speed and the intent of the exercise as we shrug, versus just trying to move as much weight as possible. So it is gonna have a little bit of a hinge to it, and then as we go to stand up, we're actually gonna get some extension from the uh, ankles as well, and then we're gonna shrug and then come back down, and it's kind of fluid. So it's almost like a demo deadlift of a shrug is the easiest way that I can explain it um, in terms of the speed and power and the explosive piece. It's similar in that you've got higher reps. Um, you're not gonna be doing a huge range of motion, but you're still gonna get benefits from the exercise. So what I like here, hands a little bit wider than shoulder width. I'm gonna personally walk forward. I could obviously walk backward as well, but just so it's easy for you to see and understand what's going on here. But I'm gonna come here, unrack it, walk forward, hinge, shrug, hinge. Just like that, okay? So the goal behind the exercise is to try to get that click, okay? So if you've got metal plates, it's great because you can hear that feedback as you get the extension and the shrug piece, um, and then you'll find that one, your traps are gonna be on fire, you're gonna be able to use some heavy weight. If you're an Olympic weightlifter, getting here is a big deal. That's incredibly important to be able to receive a weight. So an exercise like this can be beneficial as an exercise for them as well from an accessory standpoint. Now, like I said, I usually like this more for throwers um, in terms of teaching them how to get that extension from here because we're really just trying to build some overall strength and power um, from exercise like this and to finish off the training session. But also, bodybuilders and powerlifters that love to do shrugs and have a big quality upper back, an exercise like this works great because it's gonna torch your whole backside. Um, so it's got a couple different applications and why I would use it. And I'll be honest, it's probably not my most programmed exercise by any means. However, I do think it has merit and I think it does have places in training programs, especially if you can justify why your athlete or client may need it. Now, when you program an exercise like this, you've got a lot of options. I do think since it's got that rhythmic nature, you are gonna wanna keep your reps higher than a normal like strength and power exercise, right? So usually I think 10 to 15 reps is a good place to be. You can try squeezing those up to 20. However, then you start talking about a lot of fatigue and you really don't wanna just be tired down here and not being able to get that click. So 10 to 15 seems to be a good place for most of the people when I've programmed this exercise. Um, and then usually just a couple sets, three, four, seems to be good as well. And usually I pair this along with like abdominal based work or um, gluten hamstring based accessory work. So we kind of just hit a full circle from an athletic performance standpoint. But obviously if, you know, if you're a strength athlete, you can just do it by itself uh, towards the end of your back day or something like that. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.